Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my Blu-ray collection series for the start of 2019. If you didn't know guys, I recently uploaded my Blu-ray collection uh, where I show you every Blu-ray that I own uh, in my collection. There's around 500 titles. Uh, so if you did miss that, uh, in the description I'll leave a link to the video where you can go and watch that before you watch this video. Uh, I'll also leave a card up here if I remember uh, to link you straight to the video as well. So guys, just like the last video where I showed my Blu-rays, I won't really be talking about the 4Ks that I've got. I'll mainly just be showing you what I've got. Um, I will maybe comment if I think a title is really worth picking up or if it's not worth picking up. Uh, just to kind of give you guys a rough idea of some of my favourite titles. Alright guys, just before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. It really helps me out, shows you your love for the channel. Hit that like button if you want to see more content, specifically about 4Ks or Blu-rays. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into the collection and show you what i got. Hey guys, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to get started showing you what I've got. So we've got Alien Covenant, Steelbook, American Assassin. American Maid, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, the Zavi Steelbook, Arrival, Avengers Infinity War Steelbook, Baby Driver, Batman v Superman, Black Panther, also the Zavi Steelbook, Blade Runner 2049, uh, this has got to be one of the best steelbooks I think that's ever came out. Just a beautiful, beautiful steelbook. This is a Mondo steelbook that they did for HMV. Definitely as well uh, in the top 5 4K releases in terms of picture quality. Then we've got Braveheart, which also looks really good in 4K. Bridge on the River Kwai. The Dark Knight Trilogy. Had to upgrade those. I've only watched uh, the first two films and they look fantastic. Then we've got Deadpool 2. This is also from HMV, the Steelbook. It's a really nice one, it's got four discs in it. Deepwater Horizon. Uh, this is the Deer Hunter. This is the big collector's edition that came out on 4K. Uh, basically, you get a massive digi pack um, with the soundtrack two Blu-ray discs and the 4K disc, uh, you get a booklet as well and the full script of the movie So and art cards. So a really nice set to pick up if you haven't. Uh, I've yet to check it out on 4K but it's a great movie so I wanted to get that set. Die Hard, Dunkirk, Hacksaw Ridge, this one's got really good sound on it as well. Then we got Hitman's Bodyguard. This surprisingly was one of the best releases of last year in my opinion in terms of picture quality. It. Up here we've got Jason Bourne. I just picked this one up. Uh, then we've got Jigsaw. Another one that looks great on 4K. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. This is the only way in the UK to get the uncut release of the movie uh, is to get the 4K release because only the 4K disc has the uncut release for some reason. Jumanji, this is also the Zavi Steelbook. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, HMV Steelbook. Also contains the 3D which is always great. Justice League Steelbook, this is the French edition uh, I got this because it has both the 3D and the 4K. Um, I am a big fan of 3D if you didn't know that, so that's why I like to get both in the one package. The Lego Movie. The Lego Batman Movie. I love this movie, it's just great. Great fun. And then we've got Lone Survivor. Then we've got the Steelbook for Mission Impossible Fallout. I've yet to crack in and open that one and watch it. Murder on the Orient Express. If you're seeing a lot of these still sealed, it's because I just picked them up recently around Boxing Day sales, so that's why I've not watched a lot of them yet. Uh, Oblivion. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. 
This one unfortunately never got a UK release, so I had to get this from Australia. But um, yeah, you also get it in America as well. Then we got the post, and our one I had to import because it never came out in the UK, and I liked that film quite a bit. We got War for the Planet of the Apes, the HMV Steelbook, Predator, this is the Zavi Steelbook, this looks amazing on 4K, uh, if you haven't upgraded yet I highly recommend it, uh, in my top 20 films as well so I had to get that. Next up we've got A Quiet Place, this is the HMV Steelbook, we've got Rampage. Ready Player One, which looks awesome in 4K, as you'd expect. Red Sparrow. Um, I actually imported this one as well because the UK release uh, is cut. Um, so I wanted to get the fully uncut release, so I imported the US release. Saving Private Ryan. One of the best releases of last year as well. This is still the best looking 4K in my opinion, The Shallows. Pop that up there. Then we got the Shape of War. And lastly for this shelf, we have Sicario. Moving on to shelf two now, we've got Sicario 2. This is the HMV Steelbook. My number two movie of last year. Skyscraper, this is also HMV Steelbook. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, another great release. Comes with the 4K, the 3D. Uh, and then of course the digital copy and the Blu-ray, but it also comes with a comic book as well um, and a great looking steel book as well. Definitely one, again, kind of like Blade Runner up there with one of the best steel books in recent years. Then we've got Star Trek. Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Beyond. They all look great on 4K. Um, some of my go-to kind of action films. Uh, the Zavi Steelbook for The Last Jedi. Uh, the Zavi Steelbook for Solo. And we've got Sully. This was shot all in 6K, I believe. Um, so it just looks fantastic on 4K. Um, then we've got Thor Ragnarok. This is also the Zavi Steelbook. Tomb Raider. Looks great on 4K. Then we've got Westworld Season 1. Yet to pick up Season 2, but it's a great show, so I'll pick that up at some point. Um, but yeah, amazing on 4K as well. All the outdoor scenes just look great. And then we've got the X-Men Trilogy. Which I haven't watched yet. I'm gonna, I'm, I bought these two recently, so I'm going to have to do a marathon. Uh, we've got Days of Future Past. And the First Class. Or sorry, not First Class. <laughs> Apocalypse. So there we go, that's all my 4K titles. So guys, that is every 4K title that I currently own in my collection. Um, I've only been collecting since the end of December of 2017. Uh, so it's just been a, over a year now that I've been collecting. All right guys, so let me know down in the comments below how many 4Ks you own. What are some of your favorite titles to watch in 4K? Don't forget to leave a like rating on this video. It really helps me out, shows your support for the channel and makes me want to make more content. Hit that subscribe button guys to see the final part of my movie collection which should be up in the next week or so. So guys make sure to follow me on my social medias down in the description. Uh, you got my Twitter, my Instagram and my Letterbox account. So until next time guys, as always thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Peace.